Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I totally forgot to do an intro as I was editing this video. So as you can tell by the subtitles, this video is gonna be about my everyday makeup routine. A lot of my friends told me to do a makeup tutorial, so I hope you guys like it and I will link everything that I use down below. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna use the morning burst to wash my face simply because I just like to keep my face clean before I apply any makeup and I'm also using the spongy thing I don't know what's it called but I use it to wash my face so yeah okay so next I'm gonna be using the Pond's Clarinet B3 dark spot correcting cream and I usually like to use this to just keep my face moisty Alright, so starting off, I'm going to use the primer from The Pore Professional from Benefit. And I just apply this around my cheek area and then the rest all over my face. And then to add more moisture, I like to use the Mario Badescu. Um, and this is in Rose Water. And then for my foundation, I like to use the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro, and this is in Santone 16. And then to spread out my foundation, I'm using 491 SE MAC Brush to spread out my foundation. And I know this foundation looks a little bit too tan, but I really like the tannish color on my face. So next I'm going to be going in with an e.l.f. blending brush to blend out my foundation. So now I'm going to be using the Tarte Tape Concealer and this is in Light Medium Honey. And basically what you're going to do is just put it on your, I don't know, what is it called? Bags? On your on, under eyes and basically just form like a triangle or you could do like any other shape. And basically what you're doing is just building like a butterfly to give your face more highlight. I don't know if that makes any sense. Gosh. <laughs> I am not a pro at making makeup tutorials, so just give me credit. Alright, so next up I'm using this beauty blender and I'm going to use the tip of the beauty blender to spread out. And then on the bottom side of my beauty blender, I'm just going to use it to blend my top of my eyelids, I guess. Or I don't know. Just in general, just blend the whole thing with the beauty blender. Okay, and now to bake my face, I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is in Translucent Extra Coverage. Y'all, this powder is so good. Like, it really bakes your face. And now you're just going to use a regular beauty blender to apply it onto your face. Gosh, I sell. I feel like I'm doing a very bad job at this makeup tutorial. I'm trying not to make it boring, but we'll see. Now we applying this onto the jawbone. As you can see, that's my jawbone. Ooh, look at me. Oh, okay. Right. Next, we're using the Eyelore brow pilot and this is in medium brown and I'm going to be using I believe it's the Anastasia brush but I'm not sure so I'm just brushing up my brows oh, okay zoomed in so basically I'm just going to trace with my original brow I don't like to go too extreme so I'm just going in with my natural brow and just filling it in with the dip wax or whatever. 
And then I'm also going to be using the powder as well to darken it a bit. Okay, so meanwhile, my baking sits in. I'm going to go ahead and move in with the eyes. And I don't like to do too much with my eyes, so I just put mascara on. And it doesn't have any mascara, but I just like to use a regular, just like a brush to brush my eyelashes. I like to brush upwards and wiggle it. <laughs> Oh, and I'm guys gonna show you a little bit tech, a little tip that you guys can use in case you don't have any eyelashes like me. So all you're gonna need is just a blow dryer and your eyelash curler, and just leave it on for a few seconds. Make sure it's not too hot because I don't want y'all to burn your eyelashes. So just wait till it cools off a bit, and just make sure it's not too hot and just like warm enough to put it into your eye. And you're just gonna curl it. As you can tell, you can see the difference. And then I'm going in with a regular mascara and applying it onto my eyes. So whenever I apply mascara, I like to like wiggle the brush and like, I don't, I don't know, just put mascara on. Oh gosh, I suck at making these tutorials. It's okay though. So next, I'm just going to go in with a regular brush and uh, just, I guess, brush off the baking part. Oh. Well, as you can see... Just, you know, I guess blending it out or whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Melissa Michaels from Ultra Beauty palette. I totally love this palette. It was super affordable and it's my favorite. And I'm just going to use uh, that eyeshadow that I pointed at earlier. And I put it on my corner of my eyes to just give my eyes a little bit spark, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to use my mascara to put some more mascara on the under of my eyelashes. And also, I don't know if this palette is still on sale, but I think you could get it online. I'm not sure. Okay, so now to bronze my face, I'm using the Mineral Fusion, and this is in Luster. And I'm going to be using the 460 SE MAC brush. Okay, so next I'm just applying this onto my cheekbone area and then the rest I apply onto my forehead. And now I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild contour stick to contour my nose and that chin. And I'm using this spongy thing, I don't know what's it called, but I fold it up into a taco and get the places that I need to start blending. And I'm going to be using this e.l.f. highlighter and apply it onto my highlight area, which I guess your upper jawbone. And applying that on my nose. And just to add more highlight, I like to use the You Glow Girl highlighter. And I'm using, I don't know which brush that is, but 
a brush that's formed like that. And ooh, that highlight surprised me too. Oh, it's popping, girl. Yes. Okay, so next I'm using this Flaw Face uh, blush brush. I'm going in with the same palette because it has everything I like and I totally love this blush. And what I do with my blush, I like to just smile and like wiggle it upwards. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this Milani 69 Matte Beauty Lipstick. So next to give my lips a little bit more uh, gloss and matte, I like to go in with just a regular Ultra Beauty and it's the same shade as the Milani one. I know I'm really corny, but yeah, that's my everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it.